What's up, everyone? I'm Janitor Jake. And I'm Chris K. And welcome to the American Gaming Geeks. What? And welcome back for another episode. Now, if you're new to the channel or you want to get right straight to the game, you can go to this number right here and it'll take you right to the gameplay. Otherwise, we are going to get the show started. So, uh, Chris, is there anything new with you in the world of gaming? Not actually no? anything at all. All right, good, because there's nothing new with me in the world of gaming either. So, you know what we're going to do? Hmm. We're going to get right to the game. Wow. Cool. And the game we are going to be playing today is, oh, look at this, good old... Max Payne for the PlayStation 2. Now, I'm not sure how much experience you have playing the game Max Payne or how much experience you have with the movie or anything like that. I know nothing about it. I don't remember when I got this game. I'm pretty sure I got it when I was... I just want to make sure of the year. Because I want to say, oh, I remember playing this game as a teenager. And then when I, I was find a kid, out, when yeah, I was a little itty yeah, bitty when, baby. When I was a little kid, when I was like three years old, I remember playing it. Yeah. It's like, for some reason, I have memories of playing this game when I was a teenager. And I want to make sure, because then I'll look at the year and I'll be like, oh, yeah, it came out in 2008. Mm -hmm. It's like I was 23. Mm -hmm. And so I want to make sure. But yeah, I'm pretty sure at some point when I was a teenager, I ended up getting Max Payne and played the snot out of it. And I absolutely loved it. And then, of course, the movie came out, which kind of disappointed me as a movie in and of itself i guess it's okay but in comparison to the game it's obviously trash hmm. which how most video game movies are now this is the greatest hits edition so i don't know if there's a difference between the greatest hits or the original version the regular black label version or whatever i don't know if there's any variations or differences because i don't own that one and of course the game is complete we do have the manual so we're going to be checking that out as we play the game and hopefully we can beat the son of a gun so anyway without further ado we're going to pop the puppy in and get going you ready to play i'm game no more ado All right, so here we are with Max Payne. Now, I couldn't actually watch any of the introductions or anything mm. because it keeps screwing up the audio recorder over here. I have one of those Hopage HD PVR2s, and every single time the game goes to a different aspect ratio, it freaks out the recording, and it just freezes. Hmm. Like right here, I can do stuff like this, up, down, retry, no, yes. I'm worried that when I hit yes, it'll go to load something else, and it'll change aspect ratios, and that won't be able to handle it. And the video will glitch out. Yeah, so, all right, we'll just go and see what happens. Okay. All right, so here we are, Max Payne. We have tutorial, new game, load level. What did you say about his hair earlier? His forehead looks funny. <laughs> it's like his forehead is sloping up into his hair. Yeah. It just doesn't look right. Yeah, it's like a con it's like a concave. Yeah. Like it's going inward. And that was one of the things too they mentioned in the manual that it's based off of like graphic novelization. Mm. Like that's what they want it to look like. Enable auto aiming, yes. Aiming lock. I don't know. Bullet time aid. And that's one thing too that I like is that in the manual it talks about how it'll adjust its hardness. Easy, medium, or hard depending on how you play. Hmm. So when I start playing, the game's going to get really, really hard because it thinks I'm an expert. When I hand it off to you, it's going to go, oh, okay, and it's going to make it super, super easy. All right, sweet. All right, well, let's go to tutorial, see what this is all about. Maybe I'll hand it off to you so you get used to it. Okay, so the game gets used to me and decides to be a baby's game. Yeah. And the thing that's about this, too, that's really cool is that it's very film noir. Hmm. Sweet. It even does that in the manual. Like, oh, look at that. Official police dossier confidential. Ooh. Welcome to short tutorial on how to play Max Payne. Oh. I guess I should be talking with a New York accent. <laughs> Look at that his face. Is yeah, chin. yeah. A payphone is ringing. Walk over to it. Am I going to be downloaded out of the Matrix? Oh, Walk wow. Max Payne will look at interesting items. Now fa face the payphone and press X to use it. Now face the payphone and press X to use it. Now that you know how to use <laughs> items, go and use... Do okay, so you just used it. This is terrible. Like, why? Look, this is how he turns? That's how I turn in real life, too. Yeah. I don't even move my feet. <laughs> so, is there no jump button? Whoops. No, what did yeah, I just do? I just act... Oops. Oh, no. How do I turn it off? Oh, jeez. 
See, I wonder if that bullet time was inspired by The Matrix. That's why I looked it up when it came out. And that's what this game reminds me a lot of. It reminds me a lot of um, Rise of the Dragon. It's got that feel, that vibe to it. Yeah. The art style reminds me of Resident Evil because, like, all the graffiti and everything all over the place. Yeah, I'm not sure what you do because all it said was, okay, you can interact with things. Go. All right, let's go interacting. Hit. <laughs> nice. Waste ammo. Yeah. 1660 Beretta. 1560 Beretta. I'm supposed to, like, check something out in here? Ah, interacting. You can shoot by pressing the R1 button. Try it out on the boxes. So, oh, so you picked up a shotgun. I just have to get used to that. Ooh. So, yeah, that's what it wants you to do is shoot those boxes and find stuff in them. Now shoot the padlock on the metal door. No, not yet. No. We're going to shoot these boxes. We're shooting It's the weird box. because it's like, hey, shoot the boxes. There's boxes in the van. What, you want us to shoot those? And you shoot them and nothing happens. Yeah. That's interesting. It's not just like destroying it one box entirely. You, you individual panels shoot up. Yeah, that's kind of weird. So you get a lead pipe. So we're playing Clue. Yeah. I just we wanted to kill someone in the conservatory with a lead pipe. Because you have the lead pipe, you have the pistol. Nice! Oh. <laughs> so shooting the gun in there did nothing, but hitting it with the lead pipe. Oh man, it's lead pipe uh, alert. Uh, I think I was examining something else, another aspect of the game. Sweet, you can do so that So that's too. pretty cool, you can bust them with the... <clears throat> so the lead pipe will destroy the box entirely, but shooting it with a shotgun will only blow it off panel by panel. Yeah. And let me guess, if you... Destroy the boxes with the lead pipe. You don't, you don't get, anything. get anything. You have to shoot them. Probably. What? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you can destroy the box entirely. But goodness forbid you try to destroy the bottom panel. That's indestructible after shooting it. Shooting it makes the bottom half indestructible. Is that the key to immortality? Okay, all right, all right, all right, It's all weird right. that that thing never shuts off, either. I know, it just doesn't. Now shoot the padlock, and Max can shoot dodge, can shoot dodge, by moving and pressing the L1 button for bullet time, for a bullet time combo. And then you can, like, jump forward, you can jump back, and you can get a timer over there on your left-hand side. Oh, I'm on the moon. Yeah, one of them, I guess, is bullet time, where you just, you're walking and you can go into bullet time. Other times you can hit L2 and I think, or whatever the button is, and he'll dive. Yeah, that's got a different stamina bar. It's gray. Alright, huh. better answer that phone. What? Oh, Max jumps when the R2 button is. I wonder who's calling him. Somebody's obviously calling him and giving him these hints. Yeah. It's, it's, it's Morpheus. Jumping sideways or backwards performs an evasive rolling dodge. Jump over the wall to continue. Ooh. Dagnabbit. Why is this so, like, cryptic? Like, how... I feel like it's not obvious. He, like, hovers. He's got a lot of hang time. Like, Jordan would be, uh, <laughs> jealous. But yeah, the look of this is definitely Resident Evil 2-ish. It yeah. reminds me of Raccoon City. Yeah. Well, that's well, the thing. Whatever. I don't think it reloads. Why can't he can't shoot while jumping? What kind of messed up nonsense is that? Look at that. Nice. So you can blow up barrels in here. <sighs> I would have liked to have blown it up in slow mo, but he wouldn't shoot while jumping. What is that? A map? Yeah, it's weird. That looks like some sort of a map over there. Because you know that's what you do when you have a billboard. You put maps on <clears> it. <throat> I'm what? assuming we're in New York. It's the same map, twice. Maybe maybe that's not a map. Maybe that's just supposed to be, like, tattered paint and stuff. <laughs> it looks like a map to me. Maybe I just discovered an Easter egg. See, I'd almost expect him to, like, jump and grab onto that. Yeah, there's no grabbing. He's just, like, <clears throat> everywhere. Just, I feel like somebody's picking him up by the feet and then putting him back down on something by the feet. Like, like he's a puppet. Like he's Pinocchio. Oh man, now we're getting out onto the street. Ah. We get to find out what that word is I've been hearing so much about. That word on the street. 
So it looks like we got some more boxes in, which apparently you can't destroy unless you get right up in their face. Yeah. Like, you gotta get right there to do any kind of damage. Or you gotta be, like, perfect. Apparently he's shooting slugs out of that thing. Maybe. But still, he has no, uh... No aiming at, at long range. Game paused. Press the start button to resume. Lame. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, look at my chin. Ooh, yeah, yeah, I got a big chin like Jay Leno. Everyone's like, who's th who's that? Who's Jay Leno? <laughs> he's like smirking, so like, he's so giddy. <laughs> I'm the okay, man. don't destroy the other box, and that's fine. Leave it sit there. I'm trying to... F yeah, I am. I'm just gonna... <laughs> just leave it. No, I'm trying to figure something out. So this is going to be a problem. Look oh, at all that. Man. That's it's ridiculous. Just... And and if you change one thing, it's going to change everything. Go back to options. options. Go to control options. Control options. Ah, thank you. Invert thank aiming. So Why shut does that everybody up. think that's like the greatest thing in the world? Like, because yeah, people are I want to be the pilot gunner. So, uh, you know, I push up and it goes down and push down and it goes up. I love that so much. Because when I look around, I think of myself as a pilot gunner. Because that's what they want. They Whatever. I'm probably using weird, weird English, wrong words, whatever. You know what I mean. Like a gunner on a plane. Anyway. So that's the only thing I can think of, is that when people control a character, they're like, oh, I'm controlling an airplane now. Yeah. Yeah, that's what you, that's what you think. And the thing that's irritating is if you play a game long enough and get used to that inverted controls, when you see, look at that, you got shotgun shells. Shells. Give me a box of shells. You got ammo. It didn't even look like there was anything in there, so you have no. to run over that stuff. It was pretty invisible. See, and what would be awesome, too, is if you could take the lead pipe and smash the light pole and have it fall down. Yeah. Go Brandish some, my pipe here. Go play some Dungeons and Dragons over there in that... Over there in the garage. I completely used up my slow-mo bar. Yeah, like I said, it's not going to refill. Oh, I thought it had to refill. I thought it did, but apparently it doesn't. Huh. The turtles are down there having a smoke. Yeah. Michelangelo's down there having some fun. Yeah. Whoa, dudes. Oh, hey, cool. You can see the shell. Yeah, you had a bunch of shells laying all over the place. Huh. Just making a mess. That'd be awesome if you could pick the shells up and re reload, reload them. <laughs> Go to an ammunition store and buy reloading equipment. Yeah, and here's the thing that's messed up. If we were to play it on the PC, yeah, that would be completely crisp and clear. Yeah. Restaurant Supplement Corp. Okay. Oh, Bubsy's here. Oh, Look, exclamation, exclamation point. point. Oh, man. Press the enemy. Disappear. Dispenser next to that. I can't even. <laughs> enemy dispenser. I don't know what that thing is. I couldn't comprehend the fra the phrase enemy dispenser. <laughs> I'm just enemy dispenser. Oh, so you push it and a bunch of bad guys come out. Yeah. So now they're supposed to be coming out after you somewhere. Oh, oh there they man. are. Oh man. And now you're gonna oh, panic and like man. shoot at the car and shoot at the sky. Yeah. Shoot the barrel. Did I ever mention I'm bad at first-person shooters? It's not a first-person shooter, though. Oh. Maybe that's my problem. Explode, please! But you gotta remember, too, you're using the shotgun. Yeah. So you have to literally be, like, right up in the face of that thing, apparently. Yeah, you're almost toast. Look at that! Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Now search the subway entrance for a med medicine cabinet. Huh? So yeah, then you're gonna have to scavenge ammo over those guys. I know why that barrel didn't explode. <laughs> Cause it's a garbage can. Oh, it's a trash can. <laughs> I'm gonna try it anyway. Whatever. I'm like, I'm looking at it. it. Doesn't look like it'll do anything. I'm just gonna walk away from it. Really? You can shoot that power box thing, transformer, whatever. I don't know. And that thing doesn't go out. Shoot that blue mailbox. Take a minute. Oh wait, it's still inverted. Hmm. <laughs> That's why I'm messed up. I didn't... They're right on top of it. Don't do yeah, nothing. Yeah, so that doesn't do anything. What does that say? Yacker? 
Oh, it's probably Valkyr. Uh -huh. That's the other thing that's part of the story is that there's like this drug called Valkyr that's all over the place. And so that kind of ties in with the game. Kind of like the drug that that woman took in um, Rise of the Dragon. Here you go, baby. Tar Calf. Tar Cafe. My brain transposed the F and the C and I thought it said Tar Face. <laughs> there we go. I don't feel like he's part of the game. I feel like he's a puppet being dangled in front of the screen. Maybe that's why it's also inverted, because it's like you're some robot, inanimate object. Yeah, maybe. There, I'm going to play the entire game like this. No, I think you can shoot that. Yeah. You have, congratulations, you have found a secret room. Ooh, is it, or am I actually supposed to be here because there was no other option? You were supposed to go into the subway. Oh, was I? Yeah, it said that after after you killed those bad guys, it said go into the subway and get a medicine pack. This or is something. how I go into the subway, Jake. I always go up <laughs> upstairs. See, it'd be awesome if you could open cabinets and yeah, stuff. But this is one of those games. Oh, you can turn the water on. <laughs> yeah. See, it's weird. It's like certain little things you can interact with, but other things you can't. Got to get that fixed. Like you can turn the water faucet on, but can you shoot a light bulb out? No. Yeah. There's yeah, a medicine pa cabinet right there. Maybe I can find some... Napa. So you get painkillers. Sweet. My pain has been killed. So now, here, shoot that light, and absolutely nothing will happen. Well, it won't happen because I'm a bad player, but... It glows! Oh, I think that was your other gun that you shot. Yeah. It looks like I ran out of am ammo with that. But yeah, that's what I mean. It's like you shoot that light, nothing happens. But you can go over and turn the water faucet on. And you can go and you can shoot the TV. Yeah. But can you destroy the mailbox? No. I really wish that police car would shut up. That's what I was thinking. That stupid siren, it's like it still sounds like it's right there in our, our ears. Yeah, it's outside. It's not even muffled or anything. In Instagram ammo. <laughs> that's you have I Instagram. <laughs> Ingram. And then an You um, shot the TV. In the Ring Terror's Realm. I should have even tried to turn on the TV. I just yeah. turned, I just shot it. Oh, what an idiot. I might have found something out that was cool or something. I don't know. See, in the Ring Terror's Realm, Meg Rayman can actually open and close curtains, but he can't. He can't, no. Oh, yeah, and I'm pretty sure there's fall damage, so I'd take some painkillers. Oh, there's a ladder? How's your ladder physics? Completely non-existent. Okay, I can't even fall through that hole. <laughs> All right, I'm jumping. Oh, yeah. yeah oh, there's, there's that damage we talked about. I don't get the light on that window. It's like someone just randomly placed a square light just off center on the window. Where's it coming from? Nowhere. <laughs> no light source. All right, I gotta get away from that noise. That is atrocious. No, it, it'll be in my ears forever. Oh, there's the pain killers right there, so we can grab more of those. Snap on. Now try searching the back of the nearby van. Alright, so now it wants us to go upstairs to that van, I guess. No. Unless there's a van down here, but I assume it meant the van up here. There's a whole bunch of stuff in there. Sniper rifle? So we found a sniper. Three more bad guys are coming from the side alley. Okay. Press X to zoom when the sniper rifle is selected. Press the L3 remember. button to crouch in zoom mode and make okay, your keep, shot more accurate. Just keep talking to me while yeah. everyone shoots me. So they're coming out, but it's still trying to tell you what to do while they're on their way out. Still jerks every which way. You know, aim. Just aim. Yeah, exactly. It's fine. <laughs> this is terrible. Yeah, I always hated when games like do that. They sit there and jerk all over. I get it. Before he kills me. Uh, I hate this. Yeah, and that's this the thing that's terrible. ridiculous. You're specifically going to aim at that tree. You'll have a perfect shot on the tree. Oh, oh yeah, that's man. awesome. I forgot that the game does that. Huh. You can walk around? <laughs> Alright, fine. We're just going to get a really good aim on this guy, huh? <laughs> oh my gosh. That's where this game deserves to be shot. Oh my gosh. How is this? How? 
I mean, the controls should be better than, like, you know, standing around and waving a gun in the air. Alright, well, I'm almost dead, so I may as well just give up. Oh, there we go. Right in the leg. That completes the training. If you want to try our shooting more, the enemy dispensers is now <coughs> working again. And this, uh, this reminds me of, uh... And you can still explore the environment as well. Reminds me of Portal. Okay, oops, I didn't mean to. And it's that. really dark too. Whoops! Oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> I wish I could stop that. Just turn it off. I thought there was something else, but I might have missed saw See, it. See, you would think the glass would break. Yeah, like stuff like that. You Apparently, it's it. bulletproof glass. Because you know, it's a bus stop. Everybody at a bus stop has bulletproof oh, glass. Search the, town. search the bodies and oh. see if you can get anything. You know why they didn't make it so you can shoot out the lights? They didn't want to have to change the lights in the atmosphere in the room. It's like, so if I shoot this, the ground has to change, and yeah. all the shadows have to change. And they're like, nah, forget that, we're not doing that. It'd be awesome you walk up to this, and he just takes a letter out of his jacket and puts it in there, and you're like, what? What? And it says, to Santa. <laughs> to Santa. <laughs> That'd be awesome. That's why we should make video games. Oh. Over the police barricade. Well, you can, but not... Not for much longer because you end up. Yeah, they hit some that invisible wall. Oh, so that's how you can shut it off. You have to you shoot the lights because that's <laughs> how that works. If you shoot the lights, the sound <laughs> stops. Yeah, it'd be awesome if you could shoot the fire hydrant and a bunch of water comes out. All right. Okay. Uh, I had yeah, to we'll press hit select, select. Like five times. All right, then just go to new game, I guess. Huh. Select the game level. So we'll it's go to Fugitive. Option. We will, because there's no other options. All right, give me that thing now. Okay. It looks like Ziggy Stardust there. <laughs> Who's that? 